everyone and good morning. This is Miss Brown. It is almost Christmas time and one of my favorite things to draw around Christmas time is a winter owl. So I've created a video for you to see how I draw mine. I hope that you have a wonderful holiday everybody and I miss you so much. I will see you in the new year 2021. Have a great holiday everybody. So I have my paper and my pencil. We're going to start with two circles right in the middle of the paper for your owl's eyes. So depending on how big you want your owl to be, make sure that your eyes are nice and big for your owl. Then you're going to draw two curved lines for the eyelids on each circle. One, two. Then on the inside of those circles, you're going to add two more circles for the iris. It's the colored part of the owl's eyes. And then you're going to add a black dot right in the center for the pupil. And there's your owl's eyes. <laughs> Next, we're going to add a beak that goes right in the center between the two eyes and it's a V shape. So in between the two eyes, draw a little V, and then you could draw another curved line over connecting them with two little dots for his nostrils so he can breathe. Now for the head, you'll want to draw a curved line over the eyes from one side to the other to make the top of the head for the owl. Then you'll do the same thing underneath you may want to draw a wiggly line for feathers underneath his chin, or you could draw a straight line. I chose to do a zigzag line underneath. Now we need to add two curved lines, one on either side of the owl's head, to draw the wings. These are the outside edges of the wings. Then from the bottom of each of those lines, you'll bring them back up to the center. So that you can create your belly of the owl using different lines and you can use bigger lines for the feathers on the wings. Your choice. need to add his little toes at the bottom or his talons that he would go out and catch his dinner with. And I draw six little ovals at the bottom for his toes, right underneath his feathers. One, two, three, four, five, six. add the little toenails if you want and then you'll need to draw in the branch of the tree that the owl is standing on so I draw a line all the way across kind of starting at the bottom of his wing over towards the edge of the paper and then the same thing on the other side So you'll also want to draw a line underneath his feet to do the branch on the bottom edge. And then I added a little rectangle underneath the owl to make the tail, adding in straight lines for the tail feathers. That's basically the whole owl. I'll show you some other little things that I added as well, but I'll speed it up a little bit so you can watch first and then draw yourself. 